today um, with the idea of spring. Spring is, is this time of expansion, right? Everything is is blossoming. Everything is coming out of this dormant state of winter. Um, whether you have four distinct seasons or not, there's still definitely a shift that occurs this time of year. And it's this idea of there's a necessary time of contraction, of going within in order to allow that space of growth. Um, and, and we feel this in different stages within our lives. There's times when it feels easier to make changes, to experience periods of growth, to um, facilitate more expansive thinking. And then there's other times that kind of feel like you just need to slow down, go within, quiet down. And, and we can feel this in our body, right? There's times where we feel a little bit more tired, a little bit more lethargic. And it's important to kind of give in to those times because we need to rest the body, we need to rest the mind. But then when we do feel that surge of energy, feel uh, take advantage of that, right? Create your, your goals, your intentions, um, connect a little bit more outwardly. Now, a beautiful metaphor for this is the breath. When we inhale, we expand. When we exhale, we contract. There's always this rhythmic movement in the body. You're inhaling, you're bringing in this new energy from outside and exhaling and letting go. And, and you can take this metaphor even further with what you focus on. So maybe you literally want to focus on bringing in new energy. So inhale, that new information is coming into the body. Exhale, let go with, with, of what I don't need. We were just discussing anxiety. Um, before everybody else jumped on. And, and that's a really good practice of taking deep breaths. You inhale relaxation and you visualize exhaling and letting go of that anxiety and that tension. And sometimes these practices take a little while of repetition, but we do have malleability in our brain. It's called neuroplasticity, right? The brain will respond through a, a, a repetitive change, this new information that you keep giving it. So today, as we move into our um, beginning meditation, as we start to focus a little bit more on the breath, think about how you want to play with that idea of expansion and contraction. Um, what do you want to bring in? What do you want to let go of? Okay, we'll just, we'll, we'll keep it there at that. So breaking down the breath, let's start first by taking your hands onto your lower belly. And let the muscles of your lower belly relax, even kind of let it stick out a little bit more. Feel that space, try to feel relaxed into that area. Now, unless we're really training ourselves and learning how to breathe into the belly, which is our more natural state of breathing, we tend to keep the breath very shallow up in the, the shoulder area, <sighs> right? Really shallow, short breaths. And when you're taking shallow, short breaths, it connects to the more anxious fight or flight, the, the sympathetic nervous system. When you're taking fuller, deeper breaths, it connects to relaxation, the parasympathetic nervous system. So just by training the body how to breathe deeper and slower, just by learning how to do that, you can start to calm down the mind and the nervous system in the body. Okay, so we're gonna start by trying to breathe into the bowl of the pelvis. And you can almost imagine that beautiful pelvic floor, nice and open here, a lot of space into that area. So on your first inhale, try to feel your lower belly expand, even through your lower back. And we're gonna breathe in and out of the nose. Exhale out of your nose and feel your lower belly gently draw back in. Inhale through the nose and feel that expansion. Exhale out of the nose and feel it gently draw back in. Now, it's, I'm not forcing the muscles in and out through abdominal contraction. It truly is about filling that area with breath, 
and then releasing the breath. Almost imagine as if you're filling up a balloon on the inhale and then letting the air out on the exhale. Okay, so we're gonna do this for a few moments. Explore your own body, explore your own breath. Close your eyes. And as you inhale, feel the lowest part of the body expand. And as you exhale, feel it gently draw back in. Inhale, feel the fullness, even feel heavy through your hips. Exhale, feel it draw back in. So keep breathing just like that for a few more rounds. See if you can even slow down and take deeper breaths. You don't have to keep your hands on the belly. If it's more comfortable to keep your hands on your lap, feel free to do so. But keep exploring those waves of breath. Feeling the expansion through the inhale. Feeling the gentle contraction on the exhale. Trying to maintain stillness. Trying to maintain steadiness. Feeling present in your body. And to keep the mind focused, keep bringing it back to the sensation of the breath as it fills and empties out. And notice your own tendency to let the mind wander, right? Keep bringing it back. Notice your own tendency to maybe want to fidget the body. Try to keep it as calm as you can. You're training the mind for stillness. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. Come back to your natural breathing. Gently blink open your eyes. Now we were focusing on the breath in the lower part of the body. Now we're going to focus on the breath more so in the chest. Now it's not just going to be shallow breaths. You want to think of your entire rib cage expanding in all directions. So hopefully you can kind of see what it looks like. So you're going to inhale, right? It's not like that. It's out. Exhale in. Inhale out. Exhale in. And I can even feel the sides of my ribs and even through the backs of my ribs expanding. It might not be as easy to feel, but try to keep thinking of the rib cage expanding and contracting, okay? Go ahead and close your eyes. Get back into the awareness of being present with your body. Find that stillness and isolate your focus on the breath. Feeling the breath in the chest. Inhale, expanding out in all directions. Exhale, bring it back in. Again, in and out of the nose. Inhale, feel that expansion. Exhale, gently contract. Inhale, Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Take a few more rounds at your own pace. Keep trying to relax the body to invite in more breath.
couple more rounds, just like that. Excellent. And again, come back to your natural breathing and gently blink open your eyes. Okay, so now we're gonna put those two parts together. When you inhale, try to fill the torso from the bowl of the pelvis all the way up into the space beneath the shoulders. And then as you exhale, try to feel it emptying out all the way down. Try to really start from the bottom up and then on the exhale from the top down. And it helps to kind of visualize it like you're pouring water into a glass. Imagine the breath filling the glass. And then as you exhale, it's emptying out. Okay. Um, again, it's based on your own pace. So listen to your body. And, and it's not a matter of trying to force the breath into the body. The more you can relax inside, the more elastic you'll feel and that you'll be able to take a deeper, fuller breath. And, and just, you know, why are we taking deep breaths? Because that connects to that relaxation system in the body. So the deeper, the fuller the breath, the more air you're getting in the body, and the more you're actually calming all of the major systems in the body, okay? So let's go ahead and do that at your own pace, starting from the bottom up. Close your eyes, again, in and out of the nose. Start with your inhale and visualize the body filling up from the tailbone to the top of the head. And then as you exhale, feel it emptying out from the top of the head all the way back down. And take your time, inhale from the tailbone up to the space beneath the shoulders. Exhale, feel it emptying out from the shoulders all the way back down. Inhale, fill the body with the breath, thinking, contemplating expansion. What are you inviting in? Exhale, what are you letting go of? Couple more rounds, really try to feel it from the bowl of the pelvis all the way up the spine to the space beneath the shoulders. And then exhaling from the shoulders all the way down to the base of the spine. A few more rounds here at your own pace. And then gradually make your way back to your natural breathing. Place your left hand on your heart and your right hand on top of the left. Take a deep inhale from the chest, from that heart space. And then let it out of your mouth like you're making a sigh. <sighs> Let's do that one more time. Inhale into the heart and let it out. <sighs> Release your hands down, blink open your eyes. Um, so we're gonna go ahead into um, the more movement part of the practice, but as we do this, um, keep in mind the breath. I, will, I, I For today's, well, for every practice, but really do your best to try to focus on that feeling of filling and drawing back in, the expansion and contraction of the breath. Okay. 
So we're in our comfortable seated position. Reconnect to trying to take that deep breath and, and we're gonna breathe in and out of the nose the majority of the practice. That helps to keep the warmth in the body. It helps to keep that more meditative kind of sensation in the mind. As you keep the breath going, take your arms to the sides. Inhale, look over your right shoulder and even draw your eyeballs as far to the right as you can. Exhale, look forward. Inhale, look to the left and maybe even draw your eyeballs as far to the left as you can. Exhale, look forward. Do it again. Inhale, look right. Exhale, forward. Inhale, look left. Exhale, forward. Now you're gonna take your right ear to your right shoulder. And then pick your head back up. Take your left ear to your left shoulder. and pick it back up. One more time over to the right. This time take your right hand to the opposite side of your head and very gently pull that right ear just a little further down. Good, release that right hand down, gradually pick the head back up. Take your left ear to your left shoulder and then take your left hand to the opposite side of your head and gently draw it down. And release the left hand down and pick your head back up. Circle your shoulders back. Circle your shoulders forward. Take your arms to your sides. Deep inhale as you reach your arms all the way up. Now if this strains the shoulders, you can keep the elbows bent. Exhale, draw the arms all the way back down. We're gonna do that a couple more times. Try to connect it to the breath. Inhale. Deep, expansive breath as you reach out and up. Exhale, release it all the way back down. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, reach it out and up. Exhale, take it all the way back down. Excellent. Now we're gonna do a lateral stretch to the right. You can keep your arms to your sides or you can take the left arm all the way over towards the right. Slowly pull it all the way back up and then just go right over to the other side. You can do it like with your arms to your sides as you lean or you can take your right arm all the way over. And bring it all the way back up. Excellent. Take your left hand to the outside of your right leg and your right hand behind you. And if you can grab onto the chair, feel free to do that as well. We're twisting, looking over your right shoulder. Try to keep your feet flat on the floor as you twist. Excellent. And keep relaxing into the twist so you can breathe deep while you're twisting. And then untwist back to the front. Make sure your knees stay pointing forward and we're gonna take it right over to the other direction. Right hand to the outside of the left leg, left hand behind you. Look over that left shoulder as you twist.
and untwist back to the front. Excellent. Okay, stay facing forward, but I'm gonna face the side just so you can see what we're doing. So your feet can come a little bit further apart for this one. We're working on the flexion of the spine. So hands to your hip or to your thighs. Inhale, reach your chest, draw your shoulders back. So you're trying to arch your spine here. And then exhale, reverse it as you round, kind of tucking your chin in and rounding into the body. We're gonna do that a couple more times. Inhale, reach with your chest, shoulders back. Exhale, round into the body. One more, inhale, find that nice long arch in the spine. And then exhale, try to round it deeply. And slowly pull it all the way back up. Good. Take your hands behind you. Again, if you can, grab onto the chair. Now you're going to push your chest straight up, kind of pull your shoulder blades in. If it feels comfortable, you can release your head back, but it feels like you're straining your neck, just keep your gaze forward. slowly bring it all the way back. Now we're going to take a gentle forward fold over the legs. So maybe sitting upright like this feels comfortable for you. Maybe you can relax a little bit further and just kind of drape your chest over your thighs. But you're taking a forward fold here. Just hold and breathe, creating a gentle release in your lower back. Maybe you even feel it in the backs of the legs. Try to take deep breaths into your lower back. And then slowly bring it all the way back up. Excellent. Take your hands and interlace them behind your head so your elbows are open to the side. Now, as you inhale, try to open your elbows even wider. And then as you exhale, round into your chest. And we're gonna do that a couple more times. Pick it up, inhale, open your elbows out. Think of your shoulder blades kind of pulling in and down the spine. And then exhale, bring it back in. Inhale, open it out. Nice, yes, excellent. Exhale, round it back in. And then release your hands down and bring it all the way back up. Good. Um, interlace your fingers. And we're going to take little circles from the wrists. And then circle in the other direction. Good. Release it. Shake it out. and let it go. Okay, I'm gonna scoot back a little bit more so you can see me a little better. So for this next movement, a couple different options. If you can, we're gonna bring the left ankle on top of the right knee. If that doesn't feel comfortable for you, you can cross your ankle over your shin or cross both ankles. But regardless, the left hip is opened out to the side, either with the ankle crossed over the shin or the ankle crossed over the knee. And then from here, you're gonna support yourself with your right hand on the chair and use your left hand to very gently press the thigh out. Again, if the knee is over the ankle, that's what it look like. If it's, I mean, on the, the ankle over the knee. And if it's lower, it'll look like this. 
But regardless, you're getting a gentle stretch here. Maybe even feel it in the back of your hip and the low back. Good. And then release it and take it down. And then we'll do it on the other side. So right ankle over the left knee or right ankle over the left ankle or shin and use your, you're gonna support yourself on your left hand as you use your right hand to gently press out. Good. Try to keep the breath going the entire time. So the breath is slow and deep. And with the breath, you're creating space in the body as well because it's, it's a nervous system response. If you can relax the body as you are working the body, the body will open up even more. Okay, and release it back down. Again, a couple different options. If you can, you're gonna lift your left foot a little bit off the floor and hold it here. If it's comfortable for you, you can interlace your fingers under the leg, holding it here, and then circle your ankle. And it's okay if you can interlace, circle the other way. And release the left leg down. Do it on the other side, either interlace behind your right thigh or keep it lifted. Circle your ankle. Circle the other way. And then release it down. Really good. Okay. Um, again, with or without grabbing onto the thigh, we're going to lift the left leg and lower it right back down. Lift the right leg and lower down. And we are using the lower core a bit to create this movement. Lift and lower. Switch it out right leg. Lift and lower. Back to the left. Lift and lower, back to the right, lift, and lower, one more time left, lift, and lower, one more time right, lift, and lower, excellent. Okay, from here, keeping the right knee pointing forward, open your left leg out to the side, so you're at about a 90 degree angle with your legs. Take your left forearm onto your left quad. You can keep your right hand on your hip or you can reach it all the way over. And we're focusing on getting a nice long stretch from the hip up into the armpit. Try to keep the chest open. That's it. Find your breath. Slowly take it back up. Bring the left leg back to the front. Keep that left foot pointing forward. Open the right leg out to the side. Maintain that 90 degree angle and then bring your right forearm or as close as you can get it. Right forearm to the right quad. Left hand can stay on the hip or reach it all the way over. Really nice. Gently pull it all the way back up and drag the right leg back in. So if you can, come even closer to the edge of the chair. Open the left knee out to the side. You can maintain the right leg to 90 degrees, but if you have the space, we're gonna try to scoot that leg further back so we can get a deeper stretch in the psoas and the inner hip here. And then from here, face your left leg, reach your arms up. Now, as always, you can bend the elbows or you can take your hands to your hips. So be mindful of the shoulders here. But you're trying to face that left knee as you stretch out through the inner 
right leg. Good. Take your time bringing your arms down, bring it back to the center. We'll start the same way. Start by first opening the right leg out to the side, scoot to the edge of the chair, and then see if you can start to stretch that left leg out. Maybe it's a little bit, maybe you can take it even further. And then face your right knee, reach your arms up. That's it. Find your breath. Gradually release the arms down, slowly face the front. Okay, from here, still kind of supporting yourself on the edge of the chair. Try to take your legs a little bit wider apart. Keeping your legs wider, bring your left forearm again onto the thigh and reach the right arm over. Come all the way back up and we're just gonna switch it right over to the other side. Yeah, nice. We're gonna do that one more time, all the way back up. Left arm to the left quad, right arm reaches over. All the way back up, right forearm, right quad, left arm reaches over. And then lift it back up to center. Now from here, bring your feet in just a little bit closer. And again, try to take a forward fold over your legs. Now you can take the forearms onto the thighs. You can come right into the middle or bring your legs in a little bit closer to support yourself as you forward fold. But regardless, you're hanging over your legs. Find that space where you have a little bit of um, stretch, but it's not a space of too much discomfort, right? You don't ever want to strain in a posture. You still want to be able to hang and breathe. Okay, take your time, gradually coming all the way back up. Excellent. That's it. Okay, bring your legs in, and we're gonna do those arches to the spine one more time, cat cows. Inhale, reach your chest, pull your shoulders back. Exhale, pull it in as you round. Inhale, reach and open. Exhale, draw in as you round. One more. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, round it in. And then slowly bring it all the way back up. Reach your arms above your head. Bend your right elbow. And then use your left hand to grab onto your right elbow and very gently pull it back. And it's okay if you're not grabbing the elbow, maybe it's the forearm, just whatever you can grab onto to gently find that shoulder and chest stretch. Now release your arms, sweep the right arm across your chest. Poke it with your left arm. Good. You can stay here or you can bring your left ear towards your left shoulder. So that'll help you stretch the right side of your neck a little bit more. Excellent. 
Excellent. Pick your head back up, slowly release the arms. If you need to, shake it out a little bit. Arms back out to the sides. Inhale, reach. And this time bend your left elbow. Use your right hand to gently draw that left arm back. Yes. So, yes. Excellent. And then release the arms. Take that same arm across the chest using the right arm hook. And then you can stay facing forward or reach your right ear to your right shoulder to stretch the left side of the neck a little bit more. Slowly pick your head back up and release the arms. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna do one final twist. So take your left hand to the outside of the right leg, right hand behind you, look over your right shoulder and twist it again. Feel that release in your lower back. Breathe through it. Gently untwist back to the front and then take it to the other side. Right hand to the outside of the left leg, left hand behind you. Look over the left shoulder as you twist. And untwist back to the center. So we're gonna go ahead through the closing portion um let's do our alternate nostril breathing um for this one we are alternating which nostril we're breathing through if you have one that's a little bit more clogged sometimes kind of moving the skin of the nostril out to the side can open up the sinus a little bit more so you can take a deeper breath but it's okay if that's not accessible, just try to keep the breath steady. So there is a hand position so that we can control the opening and closing of the nostrils. nostrils. Um, with your right hand, you'd lower your index and middle finger, and these last three fingers are gonna be the little pinchers that we use to, to hold the nostrils. If that's too awkward for you, just use your index and thumb, but use the same hand. Right, so if we're inhaling through the left, I'm gonna use my thumb to close the right. And if we're doing it through the right, I'd use the pinky and ring finger or the index finger. And, and you're just pressing the nostril just enough to clog out the, the flow of breath. You're not pushing hard. It's a very gentle little pressure, okay? And, and I'll talk you through it. So first to start off with, take a deep inhale through both nostrils. We're trying to keep those breaths deep. Exhale. In and out of the nose, remember. And then seal your right nostril. Deep inhale through the left. Good. Close the left. Open the right. Exhale. Inhale through the right. Close the right, open the left, exhale. Inhale through the left. Close the left, open the right, exhale. Inhale right. Close the right, open left, exhale. Inhale left. Close the left, open right, exhale.
Inhale, right. Close the right, open left, exhale. Inhale, left. Close the left, open right, exhale. Inhale, right. Close the right, open left, exhale. Keep your eyes closed, lower the right hand down. Deep inhale through both nostrils. Out of the nostrils, exhale. And then take a moment with your eyes closed, coming back into your natural breath and really observe the body. Try to connect to feeling your feet in your hands and give yourself permission to relax into the feet and hands. Notice your legs, your calves, your ankles, your knees, your thighs, and try to let the legs relax a little bit more. Relax your wrists, your forearms, your elbows, your upper arms, your shoulders, and let your arms just kind of hang gently at the side of your body. Feel a sense of letting go, a relaxation in your belly, in your back, in your chest. Try to relax your shoulders and neck even more. Relax your jaw. Relax your cheeks, your eyes, your forehead. And just settle into observing your body in a space of balance and stillness. And then connect to your heart. Just kind of take your awareness into that space. And take this moment to offer yourself some gratitude. Honor who you are right now, your whole being. And then maybe even start to extend that gratitude towards all the people that you love. And feel that vibration from your heart extending out. Maybe even think about extending that loving vibration to even people you don't know. Keep that open heart centered awareness. Take your left hand onto your heart and your right hand on top of the left. Take a deep inhale into your chest. Release it out of your mouth in a sigh. <sighs> Gently release your hands down and blink open your eyes. Thank you, everyone.